Hi, this is Robbie with Tickner Photography again. Someone recently asked me how I created this particular picture of a cross-section of a line. So, I thought I would kind of demonstrate how I did that. I've got myself a line, and I have my setup here I'm still kind of working on. I have my white shooting table. I'm going to use two soft boxes, one on either side, to attempt to illuminate the background evenly. I have a speed light over the back shooting directly at the cross section of the fruit, so that should effectively backlighting it. Then I'm going to have my beauty dish kind of giving a little bit of uh, fill light in the front, but most of the light should be coming through it from the back. The beauty dish fill light in the front will only be there to add a little bit of contrast. I'm going to shoot it at an, quite a bit of an angle. It's not really going to be that powerful. So now I need to chop up my line. I'm going to use a mandolin to slice this thing evenly, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just used my mandolin and I made a bunch of sliced limes. They're opaque, so you can slightly see through them. The key to this is standing them up vertically. It's somewhat difficult to do, so I kind of bend a paper clip into shape and sometimes I can stick this into the piece of fruit and we can make it stick up with the paper clip. It's not perfect, you probably make a little stand for it, but this seems to work okay. So now let's turn on all the lights, set up the camera, and see what we can do. I also blot both sides of the uh, lime with a paper towel just to get some of the juice off. Not really necessary for the picture. So now we have our basic lighting set up. I'm going to take a couple shots and see what I need to adjust. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Um, I'm going to use a bounce card, foam pours, these things are so useful in every photo shoot for everything. I'm going to use this to fill a little bit of light back in, maybe eliminate the rind just a little bit. We'll see what it does. And sure enough, the bounce card added a little bit of extra light around the edges of the rind. So now, I'm thinking I might do this exact same image, but attempt to do it on a black background. That will require a bit different setup. I'm going to shuffle things around and see if I can make it happen. So unfortunately my shooting table is not perfectly level, so I'm getting a little bulge in the middle. I can't quite get the uh, white to disappear. I'm trying to work on something right now. Alright, now I've got it working. Elevate the front of the thing the line was sitting on so I can shoot and only see black in the frame. So there we go. We've got a pretty good image backlit on a black background. Really cool, slightly different. I'm gonna adjust the angles with the uh, backlight and see if that changes anything. I just had an idea that I might try and add a colored gel to the backlight. I'm curious to see what that'll do. Alright, well I've taken a bunch of pictures on two different types of backgrounds, black and white, and even a couple of shots with a pink gel in the background, which is kind of cool. So let's move these over into Lightroom and see if we got anything worth looking at. So now we're in Lightroom and I think we got a couple pretty cool images. So let me go in here. This is the lime without the bounce card on it. And here you can see with the bounce card it lightens up the rind or outside just a little bit. Detail on these are pretty cool. You can see individual cell walls. All in all, a pretty cool image. So now I went over to the black background, and in this first image my uh, speed light that I was using as the backlight had gone to standby, so it didn't fire for this first shot. So this is just with the beauty dish illuminating it. Still looks pretty cool, you can see a lot of detail. And then 
when the backlight fires, it changes quite a bit. You can really see through it. The green outside lights up quite a bit. And it's pretty cool. And then the next shot, I changed the position of the backlight. The only difference between those two images was the position of the backlight. So you can see it actually changes the image quite a bit. In the next image here, um, I put a purple gel on the backlight. And it turned out kind of neat. With the black background, it see I can see the uh, paper clip I have stuck in there standing it up just a little bit. I might need to tweak that. But on a black background, this is actually really cool looking. Here I moved, since I was using the macro lens, I decided to go one to one. And it's pretty cool. You can really see the liquid in each cell. Here's closer to the center at one to one resolution. Fruit is pretty cool. And then I s removed the uh, gel and went back to white. So you can really see a lot in these fruit. Developing wise, I did tweak things a fair amount, but here's the before image and after it, they're actually really similar. So it was minor tweaks just to bring up a little contrast and a little clarity and whatnot. So I hope this inspires you to go out and try and experiment with backlight photography. Pretty much any semi-transparent translucent object can be backlit and sometimes the results are quite spectacular. This particular type of image I've submitted to a few stock photography agencies and they seem to like it. So please like this video or if you have any questions or comments, leave me a message below. Thanks. Bye.